Hi guys, welcome for this video of FSI panel about the new feature which will be released within the next few days. This will allow you to fly star transition to your approach. Star means uh, standard terminal arrival route. So it will be possible for you to select an airport and then select a runway and from there decide which route you want to fly for your arrival. So you'll be able to fly longer route and have a more precise a way of coming for a non-precision approach or simply for an LS approach. So today to practice that we will uh, to show you how to use it I will uh, fly a star transition in Zurich airport followed by an ILS approach runway 14 and we will do that in a new airplane that I had the chance to fly as a beta tester the iFly 747-400 it will be as well integrated directly into FSI panel when it's released pretty soon as well. So let's see first the uh, chart. Let me bring that. So I will pause my FSX. And this is Zurich Airport Air Navstar that we want to practice today. So we will be coming from Moblo, which is a point over the Alps here. And we will follow the Bersu 1 Golf arrival, which is written here on the text mode. So we go to Bersu, to Tadob, to Hermus at 8,000 or above, and then we join Gipol, 7,000 or above. So Bersu to Tadob. So what we will do to make it shorter, I will start my transition at this point, over this point, Tadob. Or let's make it even better, Hermus, Hermus. So we will start anywhere in between Tadob and Hermus. This is what I would like to do. So you have to keep in mind, there is a altitude restriction here at Hermus, 8,000 feet. So we'll have to make sure that we are at least at 8,000 feet, otherwise, otherwise we might eat some terrain, especially in Switzerland or mountainous area, so you have to be careful. And then we will be able to fly to Gipol, and from there we will fly the transition to the ILS-14. So let's have a quick look at the ILS-14. So we'll be coming from the star to Gipol, which is here, and then we will uh, follow the radial 055 inbound Razadingen to this point here on final to Osnem, 4,000 feet, where we will join the 3 degrees descent ILS down to a Cat 1 minimum, 1,602 for the ILS 14 Zurich. So how do we practice that with FSI panel? All right, let's bring FSI panel and see what we can do now. So I have already the iFly 747-400 selected. So I will select now the airport of Zurich, the same procedure as we used to do. Then the runway, we said we want to fly an ILS-14, so it's going to be 14. And then we select the fix, and this is where something is new. You see this new button, star. So when you click star, you will get this screen. On this screen here you have all the stars from Zurich Airport. The database right now is Navigraph. I have contacted as well Navdata Pro and I don't have a, an answer yet but I expect to have an answer and to be able to integrate as well Navdata Pro uh, database pretty soon. So we said we want to fly Bersu 1 Golf so if I click on Bersu 1 Golf I get here transition. Not all airport have not all stars, sorry, have transition. If you don't have a transition, you will directly go to these windows where you have the waypoints. So here we said we'll be coming from the south, so we'll be coming from Moblo. And then we get our points here, along the star. So Moblo to Lamour to Corit to Connol, Bersu, Tadob, Hermus, and Gipol. So if I bring back my chart quickly, we can see that we would like to be anywhere between Tadob and Hermus. So I would like to start my training at Hermus Point. All right, Hermus Point, restriction 8,000 feet. So I will click Hermus, and here you can see that there is a restriction detected by FSI panel, restriction at or above 8,000 feet. So we will leave it at 8,000 feet. The heading 064, so if we look at it again, this heading 064 is basically the track between the previous waypoint inbound to Hermus. So it means it will FSI panel will position you somewhere along this track. The offset you will be able to decide. 
with the correct heading to one Hermus, which is supposed to be 0 0.64. Alright, so we have 0 0.64, we have 8,000 feet, now we have to choose the offset. This is how many miles before Hermus you would like to be positioned. On this aircraft and on PMDGs, all aircraft except unfortunately the Dash 8, which doesn't allow us, and as well the uh, A2A fleet, you can use this new feature now, which is the freeze position, which means that once you are released for flying, the aircraft will not move at all, and you will have all the time to set up your FMS for your approach, and then start flying. So we'll try that as well. So freeze position, 5 miles, this is good enough. 8,000 feet and the heading 064. All this value can be changed as well. Let's see now. Let's say now I would like to have an offset of only 3 miles. So I just click here, 3 miles, enter. So now I will be 3 miles from the point air mousse at 8,000 feet on the heading 064. Validate. Now the weather. Let's see the weather in Zurich today. I think it's quite bad. Let's think take something interesting. Here we have 3,000 meters of visibility, overcast 400 feet, 6 degrees and uh, 6 dew points. So it means we will have a, we have the Cat 1 minima, so it will be interesting. So let's select this. 8.20 in the morning, I just would like to be not during the day. I set the weather and now I'm ready to start flying. So I just press, press or remove aircraft and remove FSI panel. Now let's see what happens. The airplane will load as usual. It's going to be the new 747-400 from iFly. Very nice airplane. I just started to fly it. So sorry if I'm a little bit behind the plane at some times. I still have to look for the keys and everything. But it flies very well. I was very impressed. Here we are in the cockpit. Everything is dark. Not set correctly for you. So we'll see what FSI panel is going to do now. Here you see on the top the FSI panel, my control piece standby. So nothing to do here. You see the gear is up, everything is set, so we just wait now. Now you will start to set all your modes. So look, the uh, modes are set now, 8000 feet autopilot, and now your FMC is getting programmed, the FMS. Nothing to do, just watch. Everything is set for you finish so now he's streaming the aircraft we're supposed to be at 8,000 feet and the speed is 240 knots as we are clean flaps up so now the engines are spooling up slowly as we can see here so we have to give it some time I will remove the yoke from the view otherwise it might be on the way when we look at the PFD later on. Here we go, the engine is starting now and we will soon be at 8000 feet stabilized so we'll be able to take the control and see what happens next. Here we go. Now we have the control. So what we can do now to show you the freeze mode, the new freeze mode, I will simply release the take the control. So I release pause. And now you see it's my control, it and all your brakes to unfreeze your position. Okay, so now basically the aircraft is flying in the air. Its position its position is completely blocked, so it's not moving at all. You will keep the same position, but you can descend, turn left and right. Only your latitude and longitude is not moving. So this is the right time to check your minima to set everything you need for your approach. So if we look from outside, we can see here our nice Boeing 747 from iFly, which is flying but not moving into its position. So it's very nice because at that time we can now start a briefing. We can do. Uh, or enough setting, we can set our FMS. This is what we're going to do now. So I go back in the fly deck. 
and I will bring my FMS. What I have to do, FSI panel already put the destination as Zurich Airport, so here I will go to the arrival page. I want to do an LS14. We said via Gipol for the transition, and it was the Bersu 1 Golf arrival, and we were coming from Moblo. This is our arrival route, so I will execute it. You see already the point here, Hermus. So what I will do now, I will go direct to Hermus. That's it. So now we are direct to Hermus. At 8,000 feet, the next point will be Gipol. Perfect. 8,000 feet, we can set. Everything is set for you. Arrival speed. We will uh, choose flaps 30152, so our approach speed will be 157 plus 5 knots. And we will set now our minima. So if I bring if I bring now the charts from Zurich quickly in view here, we see that the minima is 1602. We need 550 meters RVR, which we have. We saw we have overcast 400 with 3,000 meters. And in case of missed approach, we will climb to 4,000 feet. I will not do an extensive briefing like we're supposed to do, just to let you have a look at the quick approach charts and to save time. So normally we will do a complete briefing, but here I will just skip this point and set our minima now. So we have here a barrow minima which is supposed to be, we said, 1,602. So let's bring that a little bit bigger so we see better. And we go to 1,602 feet. One thousand six hundred and two feet. So this is set. We are ready to start flying our star. So what I have to do, I press L nav. L nav is captured already. And if I now hit and hold my brake, the aircraft is flying now. So as we were three miles from Hermos with a speed of two forty, the aircraft is already turning to the right toward the next point which is supposed to be Gipol, which we see here. So we are flying now our star arrival route. I can use VNAV as well. Let's see, VNAV unavailable. Okay, I have to set the cruise speed, sorry, the cruise altitude, performance page. Cruising altitude here, we will just set 8,000 feet. That's it, and now it should fix our VNAV issue, yes. So now we have VNAV pass and the aircraft is flying 250 knots. We see here that we have a top of descent just after the point G pole. So it would start to descend, and here we have a deceleration point, and here we will start flying our approach ILS-14 in Zurich. So here nothing to do, just wait, I will move a little bit forward. Let's move a little bit forward here. Looking at our arrival, we see that Osnem is the initial approach fix where we start our descent with 2 degrees descent. 4,000 feet is the uh, descent. So we will put already our altitude windows to 4,000 feet to allow the VNAV to start its descent to meet the glide slope. So let's put 4,000 feet here. If we look on the navigation radio page, we have the ILS of Zurich already set. Everything is fine. Now we're approaching to the top of descent. So we'll go back to normal speed now. Normal speed. We bring that to 10 miles so we see better and now normally we should have a nice VNAV descent with this new bird it's doing very well on a VNAV I was very impressed by the performance you will see by yourself the transition from star to uh, the ILS was uh, very smooth on the la few flies that I've done so far so Gipol we will turn right and we should start slowly our descent
turning right, you see now he's starting to reduce the speed to 240 knots. Flaps one. Speed two ten. And now we start our descent. You can see here this is the point where we will start our descent at 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet, 8 degrees, should be over the point Osnam. So now the 747 is descending. We can continue to configure it. Flaps 5, the speed goes to minimum speed for flaps 5. Now we'll go flaps 10, speed 170. This is the deviation from the ideal flight path, uh, VNAV path, so it's looking quite good. This is only a few feet. So we'll see how it works with the glide slope when we're coming to the glide slope. You see here the glide slope, which looks good. We are catching up. It will turn final pretty soon, so let's see what happens. We have the distance to the runway here for the ILS, 15 miles. You see now the glide is coming nicely. Let's see that with a 10 miles range. Everything looks good. Reducing the speed slowly. You need to be configured at 1000 feet as it is IMC weather. So by 1000 feet we should have our VRF plus 5. So for us it will be 156. So we should have 156 knots by 1000 feet, otherwise you are supposed to do a, to execute a missed approach. Alright, you see now the glide slope here is very nice. We are exactly on the correct path. The speed is coming to 171. And the aircraft will soon turn to the right on the final approach. So here we can either wait and let Divina start the turn, or we can already arm the approach. So I will arm the approach here. Arm the approach, we see lock and glide slope armed. And now we just wait and see how this uh, 747 will turn and join the final approach. Localizer captured, the inbound heading is already set. Now you see we are slightly low, very, very few feet, so it's not a big problem. What I will do here, I will press vertical speed and I will reduce my vertical speed to 500 feet to catch up the glide slope. Speed 170 is still good, we are still 12 miles, so I don't need to reduce furthermore now, we can wait. So now what we are looking for is the interception of the glide slope to be fully establi established. Glide slope is now coming soon. We should have the glide slope captured any seconds. Glide slope captured. We check the go around altitude, which is 4,000 feet according to the chart. So we are now fully established. Yeah. Let me show you the cockpit of the 747. It's very nice well done i really love it here we have the auto brake which is set to two already by uh, fsi panel a uh, very nice cockpit i will show you more after the configuration of the aircraft it's really nicely done i was impressed and uh, it flies well the autopilot is very good 
So now we will start to configure it, otherwise we'll have to go around as I just told you. So we have 9 miles, flaps 10, so now we go gear down, flaps 20. And we reduce the speed to uh, the bug. You see here the bug, this is the minimum speed for flaps 20. So we'll put the speed to this bug. And now to give you to give me some time to show the airplane a little bit more, I will go full configuration, flaps 30, and we set the speed to 156. As the gear is done, we arm the speed brake, armed, and we can quickly have a look at the final check to make sure we didn't forget anything. Let's see that here. Okay, so cabin clearance received, speed brake is armed, the landing gear is down, and the flaps are set. Alright, so now we are ready to fly this approach. And I will show you now this cockpit. So this is the first officer sign. Then here we have uh, all the radios and the third FMS. On the overhead panel, very nicely done as well. Good graphic, all the lights are set. This is the uh, 2D panel and back to the 3D panel. Looking outside, the aircraft looks as well very good. With the pilots, you can see the pilot in the fly deck. Full of uh, people looking at our approach today in the fly deck. Nice. And we are 1000 feet, so let's see now. How does it look in the fly deck? 1000 feet. We are stabilized, the speed air is good, landing checklist completed. As we have programmed our uh, FMS, you see here that we have the route in case we should go around, we can harm nav and the aircraft will fly automatically this uh, route. So now we are coming for landing. So we'll go manual thrust, maintain the speed to one six one five six. 1000 feet stabilize. You see here the radio altimeter readout in Zurich. There is some terrain, so it uh, changes a little bit. Now we can see the runway, but it is a patch of fog, so let's see if we can land. At the minimum, I will take over the autopilot and land. Runway is in sight. Speed is a bit low, increasing the power. Here I'm using the FS Dream Team scenery for Zurich, which is a nice one as well. 400 feet. Approaching minimum. Approaching minimum checked. 200. Minimum. Contact landing. Autopilot off. Idle, flare, here we are, full reverse, monitoring the auto brake, and manual braking. Here we go, and I will vacate the runway at the end. Alright, this was how to fly a star approach to uh, ILS 14 in Zurich. Let me pause the sim now. And if we bring FSI panel, we also get the landing report for this landing that we just done. So it was the runway 14, the wind was uh, light, so that was good for my landing. The landing distance satisfactory, a bit long. We have normally 3000 feet to land, 900 meters is the uh, standard if you're coming with an aligner. And uh, the landing was a kiss landing and uh, everything looks good. 
So you can have as well the landing report on your star. So let's have a look at this uh, landing. If if we can still, I'm not sure if it will give it to us an instant replay from outside the last 75 seconds. Let's see if that works. Yes, that works. Perfect. This was the landing that we just did. Very nice aircraft. Still the queen of the sky, I think. Better than the 380. And touchdown. Nice. Thank you guys for watching this video. This release will be out in a few days, maybe for the weekends. So uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any question or comment, please uh, just put your comments here in uh, YouTube and I will answer you. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.